mom's side of the family was quite eccentric. Probably my creativity came from my mom. I've played in many bands over the years, and I've never quite got the record deal I wanted. You know, dogs and pets were in my life since I could remember. I always grew up with pets. Ben was thrown out of a moving car on a farm in Tennessee, Franklin, Tennessee. That told me he was about four months old cuddled with him the first night and out came this. All the doctors there told me to put him to sleep. He was just like charging at me, snapping his teeth. He was biting so much. Anything in front of his face, see, Sven would bite. And and he was going for pain. He wasn't just like trying to warn you. He was going and he actually bit through his lip, his own lip and his teeth went through his own lip and then he was stuck with his, his lip caught and his canine sticking out his cheek. What happened to this dog in the first few months of his life? Everybody was telling me to put him to sleep. I just knew there was good in this dog and I really wanted to figure it out. Go crazy. Ben's had a hard life, but he loves the music scene. I was obsessed on trying to figure out how to fix my crazy dog and I realized that I was actually a pretty good dog trainer. I'm a drummer first and foremost. That's what I really do. Dog training just seemed to take off and it paid a lot better than drums. Ben would lay on the keyboard and he'd growl and I'd throw sunglasses on him and he looked like Ray Charles. But I never really thought about making him play. He was always growling and making noises when anybody would get near that piano. And I could never touch the knob. I couldn't even reach and turn it on or off. He would go, you know, like he wanted to bite my finger. Um, he was trying to tell me something about music. And once I taught him how to play, a dog father of rock and roll. Make little loops out of uh, his vocal tracks. Maybe he would say, glove, 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 and I would repeat it like, glove, glove, glove. At a physical, they said, get to the cardiologist immediately. You need to have heart surgery immediately. Your valve is leaking. And I just felt all alone all of a sudden. I had nothing. I had no, I didn't have anybody except Sven. I thought, what happens if I can't come back? Who's going to take care of Sven? Was it selfish of me to think, should I put Sven to sleep if I can't make it back? And the truth is, there was nobody that could really handle him in a situation. <laughs> Ben changed my life and put it on a whole new path. I feel sorry for people that never grew up with animals.